Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I have something rather serious to discuss, and it is regarding the new Mulan movie. Now, to be honest, I've had repeated changes of heart on whether or not I ever wanted to actually cover this movie, as while there's actually a lot to talk about with regards to what all is wrong with the new Mulan, a lot of that also has to do with the sheer amount of censorship and politicking that the Chinese government put into the film. That being said, what ultimately convinced me to talk about Mulan is this latest story, which is indeed political, but it's also one of the most extreme things Things that I've heard in a long while. Because it turns out that in the credits, Disney decided to give thanks to some of the people that are actually running concentration camps in communist China. Yes, I am being serious, and yes, this is real. And there are a number of articles just starting to talk about this today, but the article that I will primarily be pulling information from is from The Guardian, simply titled Disney Remake of Mulan Criticized for Filming in Xinjiang, written by one Lily Kuo in Beijing. Now I do get that this is an article published by The Guardian, so by all means feel free to take what it says with a certain grain of salt. However, given what I've read about the situation, it is at least my belief that this article is presenting credible information. Anyways, it's actually been discovered by activists that are trying to boycott Mulan, that in the credits of the film, Disney decided to give special thanks to several Chinese agencies, including most notably the Turpan Municipal Bureau of Public Security, who presumably offered security to the camera crew when they were filming certain shots of the film only around 40 miles away from the city of Turpan. The reason that this is important, however, is because the Public Security Bureau in Turpan is actively running at least 14 concentration camps in the area. And at the time of this video, it has been reported that there are at least one million people that are being interned in concentration camps such as these. And this is the sort of thing that the Security Bureau of Japan, one of the agencies that Disney gave special thanks to at the end of the movie, this is one of the things that they are specifically a part of. One genuinely does have to wonder who at Disney thought it would be a good idea to give special thanks to such an organization. And yet here we are. Needless to say, this is absolutely appalling. And it does raise very real concerns about the amount of influence that the Chinese government has over major corporations in the West these days. Part of this may actually be a result of the decline of the influence of SJWs within our society, creating something of a power vacuum that the Chinese government can exploit. Of course, another large part of the issue is the sheer amount of money and manpower that Beijing can throw at pretty much any situation. But no matter how you slice or dice it, the simple reality is that we can no longer ignore the amount of influence that communist China China has on companies like Disney. Of course, given the sheer amount of backlash that Mulan is facing, there is the very real chance that Winnie the Flu can be beaten back. Eventually, at least. But only time will tell on that matter. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.